I just got my solid doodle workbench and I wanted to go over how I set up Repetier Hose to work with it and I have been able to get some nice prints out of it. Um, I'm not sure that I have the best setup or the ultimate setup for sure, but I just am starting out myself and just want to show you what I've started with so far. To get Repetier Hose, this is how I went about it. I went to Solid Doodle's website, clicked on support, then I clicked on software. If you go to start here and try to download through start here, you're going to hit a dead end. So don't do that. Do the software link. Okay, click right there. You're going to get this nice um, section right here on Rapiteer Host. There's some nice um, videos and tutorials and everything in here. Um, I went to how to install Repetier Host for a Mac because I'm using a Mac. And so the choices you make or the download you'll have is a little different. But if you click that, you can actually download Repetier Host right here. And it will download to your computer. Again, a nice little video showing how to do that is already in here. But not for the workbench specifically. If you go back a page, there's some other write-ups about how, how to use Slicer, which is also nice as well. So I downloaded this. I installed it. And I've got it on on here right now and I just want to show you my settings and um, hopefully it'll help you get started as well of course you got to click connect to get started and have it connected to your computer or to your um, workbench the first thing though that you'll need to do is click printer and choose printer settings or as you see there you can hit command P or control P on a PC to get the printer settings and you see I've already got this set up. Um, when you first set this up and you download it through the Solid Doodle website, you'll see the Solid Doodle and 2 and 3 are already choices. Well, you can click Add and you can type in Workbench or whatever you want to call this thing and click Create. And when you do that, you'll hit Create, you'll see Workbench right here. And then all of your choices you have here will stay every time you have that configuration chosen okay so first thing I changed was this was set to virtual printer for the port go ahead and change that to USB modem or USB or whatever you see there for your USB the baud rate I left as it is and I see I saw somewhere somebody set this up a little differently and it seemed to work but I, I left it where it was and that works for me and everything else I left the same so all of those settings are what I've been using okay click oh go ahead and when you set that click apply okay go to behavior and I didn't change anything in the behavior if you want to change your um, extruder temperature this is a good spot to do it as well as the heated bed temperature that's kind of the preset and where it will default to you will want to change this to two extruders the default is one so make sure you change two extruders right here and you will also need to check well I also checked disable heated bed and disable extruder after the job is ended or killed okay so that way it turns off my extruder and my heated bed and doesn't stay hot if you uncheck those and you're gonna manually control them that's fine that's up to you and you can do that okay that's all I changed all I adjusted there um I didn't adjust the dump position so I don't know if you need to or not click apply go to dimension now this I did change a few things here first of all I did not change where it says home this is X max Y max and Z min I left those as they are and I did change the X max to 300 now really it probably could be 304 304 millimeters is 12 inches I'm just starting out with 300 okay I'm not pushing the limit yet maybe someday now um so i did 300 here 300 here i also did 300 for the width depth and height now you see my height is a little low i didn't want the bed going down too far so i just changed that to 290 you can do 300 it should be okay but just starting out i just did 290 because i wasn't sure i didn't have any guidance on this and i'm just kind of guessing but it has worked for me under the advanced tab i didn't put anything there so that's it click apply click ok and you should be good to go so that's the first step of setting that up of course when you're ready to um, print you're going to go to the print panel and that's this tab over here the print panel tab and you're going to choose power to power on the connection and that will light up by the way I'm not connected right now so um, you won't see any of this light up um, when you go to um, this you can also 
adjust your print bed height and I especially was worried about the print um, Z the vertical axis moving up and down you can click 10 and it will move down and you can move negative 10 and it will move up so just keep in mind that's negative 10 moves up positive 10 moves down and the X and Y move it side and forward and back okay side to side X forward and back is Y okay um, I'd recommend play around with the small increments before you get to, um, too crazy with that um, you can click stop motor and manually with your hand move the extruder around okay just in preparing you can also click set home if you click set home it's always going to think the spot where you where the extruder is when you click set home is the home and if you click home all it's going to go that point okay um, now a couple times the extruder wouldn't move at all it wouldn't it kind of locked up when I started a print it kind of reset so you might have to do that and just kind of start a print and it will reset this is where you can manually turn turn the extruder on you can click extruder 1 and extruder 2 turn them both on or just to turn one on okay that's the temperature you can manually adjust and the speed is for the extruder and the retractor just when you're changing filament okay um, so a, a few times I've adjusted on the fly adjustments to the extruder right here so while it's printing if you think think oh this needs to be warmer this needs to be cooler you can change it right here on the fly the heated bed is the same deal you can change it while it's printing okay so when you go to object placement you choose add STL file you can choose your file here and I'll just throw this one on there and it throws it on to the print bed now I'd recommend making sure um, it's on the print bed a couple of times I've had it out there in outer space and you can choose auto position it automatically puts it back on the print bed so it's in a good location sometimes it's even been um, high like above the print bed and um, you can use these tools to the left to kind of get an idea of where it actually is located this little truck gear uh, arrows with the truck let you move it up and down and all around wherever you want so you see that's obviously not gonna print not gonna work um, click auto position and it will put it on the print bed now once you get it positioned and scaled by the way you can scale it 1.5 would be not quite double almost double and um, you can um, scale it you can adjust it as you see fit and again I like to auto position it um, you can also rotate it if you need to to get the pr best print quality then you can go to slicer and the slicer is the guts those of you that have used this before know that this is where everything um, regarding the print occurs so I'm gonna click on slicer and you see there's a few presets and I've added a few as well I'm gonna click configure um, oh by the way there are again a solid doodle has some presets in here I tried adjusting this and adding a, a workbench setting but the 8x8 works fine okay I'll show you where you change that right here click configure okay and under configure this is my settings for 0.3 millimeter 0.4 was working really well as well for me I really didn't change a whole lot here okay so I didn't change anything really for the 0.4 or really for the 0.3 as far as the first settings um, you see that that one box I checked I was just trying it out um, on the second infill choice I changed only infill where necessary so I added that and I changed the infill to 10 just so it would go faster um, that's the only thing I adjusted on that one okay I left everything else at the default the default speed I left that alone I played around with it once but then I just went with the defaults that worked better um, let's see skirt and brim I left alone no adjustments there for me um, I did add four raft layers so you may want to add some bottom raft layers that really helps you to adhere to the bottom of the um, bed and really stick to the bed um, you can change the pattern of the the um, raft layers as well um, but that's the main thing I did I just added four raft layers I think the default was two so I added a couple of those so the um, ABS would stick a little bit better it was being a little bit of a pain and um, the extruders you can change that if you want two extruders to work 
Um, I haven't messed with that a whole lot. So as you see, just one extruder for me right now. And I haven't changed anything under advanced. Once you get that, if you do change anything, click the little save icon and you can name this whatever you want. I, I named it 0.3 mod. Click OK is saved there's also filament settings so filament settings is the temperature is setting the temperature up and there's a few choices here i've had problems when i chose the pla because it dropped below temperature to down to 173 so you might want to go in there and bump that up to 190 if you do choose pla um, especially for the extruder okay um, so change that to 190 i didn't change that because i didn't set my pla i was just running the abs setting and the bed you can change that as well if you want actually that's pretty good probably right there okay and you just hit save if you want to change it the name of it you can or just hit save okay i didn't change anything with cooling okay um the abs is what i've been using this solid doodle 1.57 1.75 abs and that's left that at default I left everything at default okay um the print bed and the other layers um the extruder is 215 and the print bed is 105. I left that like it was. Like I said, I manually adjusted it a few times just to play around with it. Um, for printer settings, um, I changed the bed size to 300. I changed the print center to 150. And I'm not sure if that should be 150. I'm not 100%. I don't think that's dead right, but it seems to work okay uh, two extruders again so you got to enter two extruders down here as well so those are the things I changed there everything else pretty much the same no custom G code although I think you can enter in the start G code so it automatically levels your bed right there I haven't tried that yet I will try it soon and um, that's it that's all I changed I didn't change anything regarding the extruder one or extruder two I left those as they are and so that's it you can save that if you did change it and close it now when you click slice the slicer as you know most likely it's going to take a while and that will slice regard based on the settings you have right here now I didn't mess with um, the printer settings where it says printer settings I didn't really change that oh I did change that to workbench settings though um, but I've been actually using the solid doodle 8x8 settings as you see there um, so it was working with the solid doodle 8x8 even though I just changed that <laughs> okay so um, you may have to play around with that a little bit more than I did and I'll continue working on it as well once it is done slicing by the way it's slicing until you see that kill slicer button go away so it's still slicing still slicing still slicing once it's done you'll see the G code appear and from there you can pick up where I left off in the auto leveling video that I had made um, but it really doesn't tell you if it's done slicing until you see that kill slicer go away and it will jump to the G code panel at that point you can enter in any additional code you want and click run and you're good to go. I hope this video helps you get an idea of where I've started and I hope we can continue to build on this.